All right, today we're taking a look at a new colorway from Citizen in their Seosa lineup. This is, let's take a look at the hang tag, the NJ0151-53Z, retail price $450 hairs. This was sent in by Richard and the entire crew over at Saltzman's in Rhode Island. They're an authorized dealer for Citizen, Hamilton, Tag, Breitling. Uh, who am I, what else am I missing? I forget. I, I, th I think there's more. Oris, maybe? I can't remember. Um, yeah. So, great, great uh, people to work with. Um, I've actually visited their store and had a great time there. That was really cool. Maybe I'll be back one day. Check them out. Uh, discount code as well provided down in the description. Or if you just want to, you, so you can buy online that way. Or if you just want to reach out to them, I'll put Richard's direct contact information down below. Name drop me, and maybe you'll get some VIP treatment or something. I don't know, what the, whatever they do. So anyway, let's get into the size of this thing here. It is 40.1 millimeter. So it's basically 40 millimeter across. That crown is tucked almost annoyingly uh, kind of in there. I have a, personally, I have a difficult time operating this crown. I'm going to talk more on that in a minute. The lug to lug is uh, about a 45 millimeter. Wow, this thing's kind of smudged up now, isn't it? Driving me nuts. And it's only 12.2 millimeter thick, sapphire crystal, date magnifier, of course. And then the width here, which is not the lug opening, is 21.8. This bracelet tapers down to 18. You can see it's kind of vented too. So it has plenty of air gap in there. So it'll be nice and comfortable even on those hotter days. And then the crown is a 5.5 millimeter tucked away. Basically you need a fingernail to pull that out. And if you want to wind it in its current position, it's challenging. Like, I don't, like, like, I can kind of do it, but it's it's not easy. But it is a manual. You can manually wind the movement to get it started if you want. Or you can just give it a little shuffle and get that rotor spinning, and uh, it'll take off. And then as you wear it, it'll just be fine. So it's not a deal breaker by any means because they are phenomenal looking watches and they're extremely comfortable and they have a barrage of colors. So if you want the colors, they have them. If you want a more traditional, more timeless look to them, then yeah, you can go with the black or the blue or something like that and uh, not upset any sort of balance in your wardrobe potentially. I say go for the color, get the yellow, get the orange or green or whatever color you want. So like I said, the price point still approachable under the $500 mark. Inside is the movement 8210. So yes, it is part of the 8000 series movements, which I know for some reason catch a little bit of hate. Um, or at least um, people would, I read the comments, I read all the comments. And people will often say like, ah, they should have put the 9000 series in there. They updated the 8000 series to have hacking and winding. So it has basically the same features as the 9000. Yeah, it's a different movement and there's some other critical components that are uh, superior one over the other potentially. But the 8000 series movements of the modern watches now are totally acceptable. It, it definitely if they're trying to keep the price point down, which is what they've done with this. The water resist is 50 meter on this guy. You can take a closer look at the finishing. It is well finished, nice polished edges. And then, like I said, that bracelet is a really nice pairing with this watch. You have arrows for the direction. Looks like we have split pin, which I'm actually a fan of. Three micro adjust on the simple fold over stamped bracelet, signed Citizen. So, pretty good watch for the price point, I would say. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Completely works for my wrist size. I'm sure you could go plus minus of the seven and a quarter inch wrist and still pull this guy off. But this one being orange and fits my wrist good, it's a contender. It's definitely a contender. I'm more of a dive watch fan. So I have to like, I have to sleep on it maybe, you know, think about it before I throw down my hard earned cash working my two full time jobs, living the American dream. So, and that's. Uh, that's why you want to buy from Saltzman's because you'll get that discount. You'll get the VIP treatment and all of the good stuff. And that's what you want when you're buying these watches, whether it's the affordable entry level watches all the way up to their flagship Breitling or a tag, um, you know, into the luxury world. Yeah, you want to make sure you're 
you're buying from an authorized dealer, you're going to have the backing and support of that authorized dealer with that purchase. So that's super important to me, and it should be to you as well. So let me give this a quick blast with the UV light. Let's turn off the studio lights and check out the loom on this guy. Yeah, Citizen does a pretty dang good job with the loom. Pleasantly, this is like a really nice green. A lot of times Citizen will use a really, uh, really well applied blue. Um, I like the green. I like this green and they applied a ton of it because it's on all of the markers, the handset and even little dots um, to the all the way to the outside perimeter. So plenty of legibility day or night. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next vid.